how often do planets collide? As scientists have established in old star systems that have existed for billions of years, this almost never happens. But in newly born ones, absolutely anything can happen. There is chaos there, the scale of which can be learned by looking at the surface of the moon, which has preserved traces of those ancient collisions. Young star systems are full of planetesimals that remained after the formation of planets. They fall on them, enriching them with various minerals. Moreover, most of these events most likely occur not with relatively small planets like Earth, but with gas giants like Jupiter. Some of them may have metal cores 100 to 300 times heavier than our planet. Recently, scientists have suggested, could such an anomaly be explained not by hundreds of falls of small bodies, but by just one, but truly large-scale collision? Collision of Gas Giants What would happen if two gas giants collided in the early stages of the formation of a star system? This is the question that researchers tried to answer in a new paper. They did not take a fictional gas giant, but a real planet, Beta Pictoris b. It is interesting for several reasons. Firstly, because of its proximity to Earth. Secondly, because of its enormous mass, 13 times greater than Jupiter. And thirdly, it is a very young world, 12 to 20 million years old. Scientists decided to see what would happen if a much smaller gas giant with a mass of 17 Earth masses crashed into it. That is, about the same as Neptune. According to the modeling, the larger planet survived the collision but received enormous seismic vibrations. These vibrations remained noticeable even from a great distance for millions of years. Therefore, if we study other star systems in the future, we will be able to find traces of such cataclysms quite easily.